Welcome back, you two. Bank 60's with you here in another installment of the great game U-Boat and my adventures with U-559 and them bucking Germans. We are in the midst of, I must tell you right now, a rather frustrating experience uh, with, with our boat, uh, with this patrol. It has been slow. It has been tedious. It's uh, not been filled with much action thus far. Last episode, a uh, bit of a dud. We tried to make it as interesting as we could. Add a little humor, a little dish of that, a little dash of that. I was a little bit tired throughout all of it. So my apologies um, if I didn't quite deliver. But I want to give you guys the entire experience. I like this raw. Again, the let's play approach to learning this game, experiencing this game all together. If you like the video content, of course, hit that like button. I do appreciate it. Comment. I love the feedback. Subscribe. Love for you to keep track of what I'm putting out. And, of course, hit that bell notification to find out when that happens. And we'll get back to it here. We've got U-559, uh, U-boat in the Mediterranean out of Lespezia. And we're operating against U um, Allied Shipping in this area here. Uh, all of our earlier plots have been removed from the map, unfortunately. Uh, we remain in fog, as you saw just a moment ago. And uh, I gotta tell you, I'm not, I'm not liking, I'm not, I'm not loving our situation right now. Um, really, just not loving it. I'm going to keep this uh, pattern going for just a little while longer. And I tell you, I just don't know. I think I'm going to have to figure out maybe another area to patrol that's mm, maybe in here. Maybe we'll go do some north-south because they would have to come across or they would have to come through here. Uh, ships traveling from this allied area here to Malta and back. But I'm going to run this route and continue that at least for now. We'll go ahead, staff that up. Good. Same here. And um, in the fog, I'll tell you what I think I may do, though. What is it, 10.30 in the morning? And now, yeah, the weather's really crappy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go on down. We'll go down 22. Uh, make sure that the uh, hatch here is closed. Okay. It should close after this last guy. These last... Oh, hello. Sir, you had a body double. You, sir. All right, Bank 60s is on it. Here we got a closed hatch. And uh, the boat will start going down. All right, very good. Very good. Hello. We're going to get... Hello. Uh, our I'll man, Greek E on the, I, I or Garrick, I. rather, on the ears. Make sure he is keeping track of what's out there. If there's anything out there, we can hope for the best. Uh, probably would be a good idea to turn off the really loud diesel air compressor. Slow the engines down. Probably good to turn off the electric compressor as well. Just, you know, for starters. Come on back here, fellas. Oh, 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 looky there. Ugh. Well, I don't know. That could be a lone merchant ship. And it looks like it probably is. 
What's our distance here? 49, 50 kilometers. He's heading away from me. Hey, man, it's a ship, though. I think I'm going to go ahead and at least start heading in this direction. Here we are on the hunt. Here we go. Okay, we kind of set a roughly parallel course with him here. Uh, we're not going to catch him most likely until uh, maybe tomorrow morning, I think. And this is going to take us outside of our patrol area. But I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and make that our course. Let's get back up on the surface. I don't think this thing's going to do much in terms of zigzag. Uh, we're just going to need to watch out for um, allied air cover when we get back up. And up we go, U-559 and the bucking Germans. Make their way to do some bucking damage. Up we go. Weather clears just in time for the hunt. Excellent. All right. Now, let's crank it up, fellas. Max speed, baby. Here we go. Let's get that watch up. How's our cloud cover? <coughs> it's helping us a little bit. We want to get those uh, air compressors going again. And off we go. We're going to make our way um, quite a ways down here, I think. Did the weather get bad again? No, it's just night. Okay. All right. All right. Max engines, I think, create smoke from the engines uh, no matter what. And I think it creates smoky conditions. And maybe, no, it doesn't degrade air quality quicker. But at any rate, you can notice there, there's kind of smoky conditions in the sub, it seems like, anyway, from my, uh, my view where I'm at. Uh, all right. We are going to go ahead and go back down. Let's go back down about 21 meters. Should have had my radio guy on the radio, but that's okay. Let's turn these off. I guess I just turned them back on. That's okay. That's okay. They've done good enough work for us. We've got plenty enough compressed air that's returned to us now. Um, that'll do just fine. Switch over engine uh, mechanics here. And then hopefully... We're able to pick this convoy, or this maybe this single tanker. Maybe it'd be great if it was a, a single tanker would be right, right on point. That would be excellent. So whoa. there he is. Okay, he went a little further south, or at least he may be in this area-ish. Um, it's night. How much air are we going to have? One hour, 22 minutes of real time. Again, with the air lasting more in game time. Okay. Oh, we got another contact here. Again, single ships, it looks like. 11, that looks like it's probably a... That's probably another single tanker or something. Uh, we have enough speed to keep up with and catch this guy. I think we could intercept on a course, say, right about there. And let's see what we get here all right we zipped in a bit there we're now near the middle of the night 2200 a little past 10 batteries run down a bit 
Run down a lot. It'll deplete in five minutes now that we're in five minutes real time now that we're in dynamic travel mode. We need to come up to deck a wash to recharge the batteries right now. That's what we need to do for starters. Copy team. <clears throat> All right, and then uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do here next is get us into our reds. This is the first action of this patrol, my God. Ugh, it has been dry up until now. Let me tell you. Yeah, come on out, Lorenz. All right, this will give us a chance to charge up our batteries. We're still going max speed. I bet you we could bring it down to flank speed. We won't get too far out ahead of this, what I think is a transport ship. Again, whew, uh, did not get a lot of food for this trip. Uh, kind of regretting it, not going to lie. We're not going to benefit from... Um, food variety like we normally would in the videos you've seen in the past <laughs> um, man I'll tell you what we may have to go back to port and come back out potentially I mean we can't go back to port with a full load of torpedoes you just couldn't do that and call yourself a man not as far as I understand it anyway maybe we'll catch some chimney smoke let's get the captain out on watch here Oh, we can't. No, he can get him on this, though. Let's get everybody up on the uh, scopes. Because when you're in deck of wash, you can still... The, the scopes kind of become your eyes. Come on out, fellas. Let's get it set up here. Our navigation down to 90%. If you didn't see that, it's right here. Navigation. Hey. So, in deck of wash, <clears throat> we're able to still hear stuff. That might be a bug at play there. I'm not sure. Because at deck of wash, uh, as far as I've experienced thus far, uh, you're not usually uh, going to have the ability to hear anything like you would under the water. So that's very strange. Uh, let's go ahead and run this just a bit. Ooh, it seems like maybe we've... Have we slowed to real time here? We have. Interesting. Okay, so we're obviously close. I think we could head south and maybe run across them. I tell you what, I'll even slow the boat down a bit so that we charge back up at least a little ways. We're at 96%. Let's go ahead and flip on the diesel compressor. Good. We got everybody where we want them. Yeah, we got down to real time, it seems, and it's not going to let us out. So, in that case, what we should do is see if we can't get a bead on where these dudes are. Uh, I would say we should just go down to periscope depth now. Uh, let's make it happen a little faster. I just would like to... Avoid, uh... Oh, whoa! Hey! Hey, hey! Where? 
Oh, beautiful. What perfect timing. <laughs> Way to be, 60s. All right. Uh, I don't want to take him off of the uh, the ears right now. We'll wait to send that message until later. Let's yeah, go ahead and get him coffeeed up, though. And we have to be a little sparing with the uh, coffee consumption here. So there is that to consider. All right, we got an hour, 14 minutes of air. I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and run the vents right now and I'm just going to give myself that much air to work with as we're coming into this thing I think I'm just going to get myself set up for success in that realm so our air quality will go up we got another detection or it is the same. I want to say it's the same. What's our distance right now? Take a look here. 3.9 kilometers. We're going to be in a good firing position. Let's wake this guy up. Get him warming. Get him warming. Uh, well, they're all T1s. That's all right. Let's do that. Mechanic, and it's 2300. Let's make sure that he continues working. Where is he? Is that Stam? I think that's Stammer. Yeah, that's Stammer. Or... I think I'm going to go with Stammer. <laughs> I'm going to call him Stammer. It's, it's Paul Stammer. Okay. Mm, yes. Here he is. Oh, he keeps those torpedoes warm. Oh, let me tell you, Paul Stammer. Oh, Paul, you warm my, my torpedo, Paul. Thank you. Such a good mechanic. Paul Stammer, everybody. Uh, we could probably go forward a little bit faster. We may change our heading just a tad. Uh, I don't like how we can't see that far. I'm not really understanding what the deal is there. Only two kilometers. What's going on? So, okay. Stammer, why'd you quit? You weren't supposed to stop, Stammer. You are supposed to keep going. It's your work hours, man. I told you. Look. The schedule has you working. It's green. Okay. That might be a bug, y'all. I don't know. Seems like it might be a bug. Okay. We need to turn the vents off now. We have a propeller noise once again. That's our other ship that's probably going to be a, a target for us. Boom. Here we go. Now we're going to target you. And uh, once again, uh, our friend here uh, just doesn't quite have this figured out. Uh, buddy, you're supposed to stay here. And keep warming. Paul. Paul. Mr. Stammer, you have to do better. Your energy is full. The red lights are bright. We're in alarm. The enemy is near. Okay. Do you understand the importance of our situation? Yes. Just warm my torpedoes, Paul. Thank you. All right. So, uh, we're going to get a solution here. Uh, it's happening pretty fast. Uh, I suppose I could help with 
range is going to be uh, two kilometers most likely anyway. And, uh, pff, you know, I tell you what, call me lazy. Call me a wimp, whatever you want to call me. I'm just going to let them handle the uh, calculation. As a matter of fact, I think we'll probably be as close as a kilometer by the time we actually get into a firing position here. Let's stop. Low navigation accuracy. Oh, no. So this is what always happens when you're lining up a shot and you're taking your time. I got to say, it's a tad frustrating. But we're going to hit this guy with a two torp spread. One, and I'm going to have one of them on magnetic. Both are going to be at two meters. The spread will be 35. Close! Boom. Captain. Now, for some reason, our radio officer decided to get up for a minute from his post and go over to the radio station. Not sure why he decided to do that. Not sure why he decided to do that. Not at all. Here go our two torpedoes, though. Our T1s. They are leaving a bubbly wake. Uh, if uh, YouTube, you're not able to see this so well, you have my apologies. I think we've got one hit, maybe two. Boom. And good night. I think that'll be enough to put her down, but we got another one coming. Here she comes. Oh, wow. Down it goes. Broke her back broke her back oh wow that is all she wrote folks Whew. all right that took care of business there surface that boat that takes care of roughly half our tonnage good deal good deal I'll take it uh, one other thing I will do is uh, get our man, our XO, on to the navigation. So as to make sure we do not get lost. And then uh, we'll get our radio guy to send the messages here. We could rescue some dudes, but again, I just don't see a ton of incentive for us there. Uh, don't see why we would go and do that. I mean, I'm a good good guy, uh, but uh, once again, you picked the wrong side of the war to fight on. You're you're close enough to North Africa. I know it's heavy seas, but uh, you guys will be okay. You got a ship nearby, I'm sure, somewhere. Um, you know, I'm not here to be a model citizen. I'm here to kill as many of you as possible. Sorry, I mean, that's war, right? So... Off we go. Uh, one more down. U-559 making its name known. The Bucking Germans. I'm going to keep the Reds on overnight, and I'm going to give this guy a break. We're going to give the cap a little sleep, too. How's our navigations now? 18%. All right, we're going to have to keep the Botswain up. And navigating for the night, or at least a, a good portion of the night. And once again, I don't want to get into where I'm going times 12 and it pops real quick back into dynamic travel mode and I'm screwed. We're going to come back toward this other, I think it's a single transport pretty sure we're gonna come back at it 
We've gotten a little rest here. I'm going to slow way down. And then what I'm going to do, now that I'm at 100% navigation, I'm going to let him get a rest. And I'm going to put Cap up here on the watch. And we're going to just watch to see smoke. Looks like we're loading up some T2s here. Cool. Uh, matter of fact, this guy probably should go to bed. We're not going very fast anyway. We're getting that torp ready. What do we have loaded here? We need to load two. Okay, yeah, because we fired two. That makes sense, Coop. It makes perfect sense. Thank you very much. Perfect sense it made. Now, if I pass by it, I should be able to turn around and catch back up with it. Uh, at least that is what I imagine. Uh, managed to work my way pretty far outside my patrol area. I may be horning in on some other U-boat's action here, but uh, they'll just have to live with it. Got to load one more. Ooh, it looks like we went up a level with our XO. Very good. I'm good with that. Looks like these guys probably leveled up too. Maybe. I can't tell. But my guess is that there is a ship up here, a freighter, a transport, something. We heard the propeller noise earlier. There is something up here. And the sun is coming up to reveal it. Hopefully. <clears throat> if it doesn't, we'll get back under the water and we'll get our guy on the ears and we'll see if we can find it. Ooh, buddy. I feel like we should have spotted it by now. I'm going to head this direction. Yeah, we should have spotted it by now. Okay. We're going to go under. We're going to hit periscope depth. Keep Cap up. We're going to get Garrick up and send him. First, to kill the uh, red lights, then to the ears, and I hopefully he'll just go there himself, actually. Let's see if he does. Yeah, nope, he's going to go to the radio. That's not where we want you, bud. We're going to want you on the ears. And the reason I did that, and the reason he was going to go to the radio, is because we weren't under the water yet. All right, so what's making noise? G diesel engines, gyro compass, okay. Electric engines are on. They are not on loudly. But we're going to stop. We're going to stop and listen. As a matter of fact, just because I'll get that blue light going, that quiets our crew down. Uh, I'll hold on. Well, we'll keep doing the torpedo maintenance. Maybe, maybe that's not hurting us. Oh no. We may have lost it for good, or it may have gotten sunk by another U-boat. But it seems we don't have it. Not right now. Not anymore. Oop, got an autosave. Doopity doop. Well, son of a gun. There you have it. Uh, looks like we lost this contact. 
In that case, uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna go back the way that I came in the direction of where this thing was, kind of up this way, and then get back into my patrol area. We'll surface. I'm fine with it. Captain. Cool. Up, up. Herr Kaloy. Uh, we could probably put him back on the radio. I, I, Herr Kaloy. That's fine. Low air reserves. We'll turn both of these guys on. Although our engineer and the torpedo will be in the way. <laughs> That'll be a little bit of an aggravation. Uh, we'll go back to regular light, get out of blues. Captain. And lastly, Captain will go up to... <coughs> go up to take over that watch. There he goes. All right. Very good. And we'll get into night. And I think I'm not, I'm not going to worry about the reds. F ah, brr. I should though. I really should. I really should. So, let's go, Reds. Billig. Heinz Billig. <clears throat> Excuse me. This will help. This will help keep our night sight decent as we go. Oh, that's right. How could we forget? Turn the boat on. We'll just pretend that there was a problem. Right? Right. Off we go. Okay. So now we're just gonna head this way. Captain. He can get back up. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we'll get him up. I suspect he is gonna go work on the engines. This guy we're gonna turn back into a chief engineer. Ah, no, it's his shift on the engines. Okay, no, he'll go back Copy to bed, ten. at least for the time being. And we'll be back <clears throat> on the road. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're back in our patrol sector. And we're just going to go back to what we planned on doing a moment ago. All right, let's make sure we got everything well staffed here. Staff up the watch. Let's get a nice look. We don't need the reds. Once again, let's go ahead and get to regular light. Very good. And a nice little view of U559, the weather conditions today. Uh, not too shabby. Really not too shabby at all. And a good-looking boat with a good-looking crew. The bucking Germans doing all the trouble they can. They've been doing quite well. Uh, this has been, you know, and will continues to be, will be uh, a challenging patrol. This, this patrol has been different, I will say. We are maybe going to run low on food. We have 14 days of food remaining. It could be something that we will need to be concerned about. I'll say that much. Goodness gracious. All day goes by into the night. Maybe, did we get some crappy weather? Maybe we did. Late now. All right. On with the red lights. Captain. You, sir, you're the one. On with the red lights. 
Okay. Here we go. And down this way. So I'm going to go ahead and get on this heading. And we're going to go down. And we're going to see what we can hear now. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully we might happen upon some more juicy targets. That last one was nice. That last one was a nice big uh, fiery yay hooray for these bucking Germans. We'll let the, these guys continue to rest for the time being anyway. Hopefully, Alexander will move over to here. Looks like I'll have to right-click to move him. Go on, Alexander. Do your thing, buddy. You know you want to. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, no. <laughs> Off to bed he goes. He's like, no, Captain. I am tired. All right. All righty. Let's slow her down. Our nabs are at 94%. I'm going to keep the gyro compass on for the time being. Part of me wants to turn it off, though. We're doing all right. Our guys should be able to hear fairly well. Come on, man. Come on, man. Garrick, we need you. We need you, buddy. Your ears. Lend me your ears. I'm going to make him stay up until he hears something, by God. Get you some coffee, Garrick. You're working extra. Matter of fact, Garrick, get you another shot. Keep it coming for Garrick. Garrick needs it. Give it to him. Through the night, through the day. Get him away from the ears. There's no way. Garrick, doing the work for us. So after we finish this, uh, like I was saying, I think I'm going to give a try to uh, some north-south work over here. I think that makes sense. hoping right now that we can uh oh that's right we need to uh i always forget to make sure that our schedule goes back garrick is set to work through the night we'll go ahead and we'll set up some sleep hours for him for after we get him off of our mandated schedule That's good. That's good. All right. Now, he may go back to bed. Nope. But our radio guy did. So, our battery's low anyway. We're not getting anything. I'm going to go ahead and surface the boat. As we get into the daytime, we'll uh, staff up a watch like normal. We should go ahead and run the water pumps. That's one thing. And we'll have to run the air pumps as usual. Dank. Dank. And we'll go ahead and speed the boat up just a bit. Air quality going up. Battery power going up. Even though we're running the pump 
Oops, okay. 12 days of food, enough in the gallery for three days. Let's put in some more pork. Let's put it all in. This will be the rest of the bacon. That'll last us for five days. Boy, oh boy, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you feel? How are you liking all oh, this? What are you thinking? Sir, the portion size is much smaller than I'm used to. What is the deal with that? Ekaloi. Oh, then we switch straight away to Garrick. He looks like he's tired, that man. Yeah, I will. Out to the patrol. All right, let's get Captain. back on task here. Uh, if you're just catching up, we lost contact with a juicy target and are now wandering the Mediterranean search of more targets, hoping, hoping and praying, praying and hoping that we will run across another juicy, heavy tanker or freighter. We've only used two torpedoes. We don't have much food. Uh, we may have to search whatever else we sink for food. Uh, if they drop, if, you know, in the wreckage, they drop stuff, uh, it may be worthwhile for us to go picking around the wreckage of anything we sink at this point. Um... And like I said, may have a fairly long patrol out here, given the fact that we've only sunk half of our tonnage. And by God, I intend to sink more. I mean, I, I can't go home with a huge load of torpedoes. That just You just can't do that. I know the game sets it up this way, but I was talking to a top expert I know in, the, uh, in World War II who tells me that there was never any mention of, like, specific tonnage quotas given to captains. It was like, go out there, here's your torpedoes, here's how much fuel you've got, here's the men you've got. Now go kill as many and sink as many freighters as you possibly can. Like, that was, that was it. We're going to go kind of up this way. Bestätigt. There wasn't any kind of a, you know, well-defined quota where guys could make an excuse for coming back with full loads of torpedoes. So I may challenge myself a bit here to try to stay out and sink as much as I possibly can. But I got to tell you, uh, the food situation may make that just, I mean, technically impossible. I, I may have to just make my way back to Lespezia kind of, earlier than I'd like because my guys just don't have enough food. Uh, now that we've made our way over here, I think I want to go ahead, now that we're coming up on night, I think I'd like to go ahead and bring the, sh the boat down again. 22 meters is good. And I'll tell you what, we're sending the boat down. The red lights are on getting ready just in case we run into another contact i think i'm gonna end the video right there will we come across another fat tanker or freighter another target for the taking let's see in the next episode u559 the bucking germans and hitler's missing sub hitler's lost sub there it is hey once again hit that thumbs up button if you like the videos do comment please subscribe and hit the bell notification to find out when I'm dropping new stuff. I'll keep you up to date on this story, game by game, you know, moment by moment, episode by episode. In the next one, we're going to be seeing if we could actually find any enemy targets to hunt down and take out. It'll be a fun time. Uh, I'm looking forward to that for now. I'm going to save it up here. And I will look forward so much to the next time we have meter. to spend together experiencing this game. Great, great game by Playway. Deb's doing an excellent job. Bank 60's right here.
Peace.